ओके सो ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू दोज आर वर्किंग इन इंटेंसिव केयर यूनिट और इमरजेंसी डिपार्टमेंट दे मस्ट हैव कम अक्रॉस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कल्चर रिपोर्ट ऑफ ब्लड कल्चर इंस्टीट्यूट कल्चर और यूरिन कल्चर लाइक दैट and many of you have now it's a common thing that most of the organisms are resistant to most of the antibiotics which are there in the culture so there are three terminologies which are used one is multi drug resistance called mdr the other is extensive drug resistance which is called xdr and the third one is pan drug resistance which is called pdr so what is the difference between all these three when you call that this uh, organism is multi drug resistance or extensive drug resistance or pan drug resistance so there are it is defined on the basis of different different categories to which a particular organism is resistant or sensitive so like uh, different classes means when you call mdr firstly is mdr so when we call is mdr when that organism is resistant to at least one molecule in three different or more classes like classes means like in beta lactams uh, we call is cephalosporins are there your piperacillin tetrabactam group is there then you have carbapenems also there so if each one molecule in each of these categories is resistant that means this uh, this um, uh, organism is multi drug resistant or like in uh, there are other group like fluoroquinones or you have uh, macrolides so if the organism is resistant to at least one molecule in three different classes or categories then we call is multi drug resistant now what is called xdr extensive drug resistance it means it is resistant to almost all the classes except for two or less than two categories means it will be sensitive only for two class of drug or one class of drug then you call is extensive drug resistance and when you call pan drug resistance obviously the name suggests when the anti uh, organism, organism is resistant to all the classes of antibiotics which are available so always when you see the next time the culture report always try to classify that organism whether it's a multi drug resistance or whether it is a um, extensive drug resistance or pan drug resistance but remember you need to identify the class like in cephalosporins if it is resistant to ceftriaxone or ceftazidime or cefepime it is a cephalosporin class so it will be count as one uh, one class or one category so for multi drug resistance three classes or three categories means like resistance to ceftriaxone resistance to piperacillin resistance to carbapenem then three class is been resistant then it will come in uh, multi drug resistance so always try to identify which class the organism is resistant and then count the number of classes so three or more at least three or more multi drug resistance all resistant except for two classes extensive drug resistance and resistance to all antibiotics pan drug resistance so it's interesting thing alarming thing also do read more about it thank you